Welcome to this how-to guide on creating an ISO image of your Windows operating system. This is a free and great method for backing up your entire operating system. This method works for pretty much all window versions from XP and up. We are going to be using an ISO image to take a snapshot of our entire operating system. So all drivers, software, and everything else installed are backed up. If Windows were to fail and you didn't have a snapshot, then you would have to do a fresh reinstall of the operating system. This could take many hours to install all of your precious software and drivers. With this snapshot, you could be back up and running in as little as 20 minutes. Keep in mind, your snapshot is only as good as the one you make. I personally end up making two. One right after you do a fresh clean install with just your drivers reloaded. And that way, uh, if you ever want to do a quote unquote fresh uh, clean install, you can just roll back that ISO image and then I do a second snapshot after you have all of your software installed. I also redo a snapshot perhaps maybe once or uh, twice a month. Uh, it's up to you how often you want to do uh, uh, a snapshot. At this point I have to give a little warning. It's pretty much common sense but uh, I should say it anyway. If you take a snapshot with a virus or malware on your PC and two weeks later you decide to reload that ISO image in hopes of getting rid of the virus because you didn't realize you took a snapshot with the virus uh, you're not going to get rid of that virus. Uh, basically, you're recovering something that uh, is already infected. So uh, the moral of this whole warning is um, try to make uh, nice, good, and clean copies. Uh, remember, your recovery is only going to be as good as your copy. So in order to create our ISO image, we're going to need uh, three things to make all of this magic happen. Uh, first is some free software. Uh, they'll show you how to download later. Uh, second will be some kind of media uh, to, to place our ISO image on. And since our ISO image can be pretty big files, um, I recommend uh, an, ex, uh, an external hard drive. Uh, they are just fantastic for backups. And last but not least, we also need a blank CD. And what the blank CD will allow us to do is create a recovery CD uh, in the event that we actually need to use our ISO image and restore it and recover uh, our Windows operating system. Uh, that's what the recovery CD will allow us to do. Before we go any further, I just want to give you some thoughts. Uh, we are about to uh, take a snapshot of our entire C drive. If you have documents or data stored on the C drive, this will get backed up too. This can be a good thing, but I also feel it clears up your ISO image. Uh, for example, I have my documents slash data uh, located outside of the operating system. And uh, if you, you want to set up something similar, uh, see my creating partition video for more details. So I have the D drive and I have the C drive. Uh, if my uh, data were inside my C drive, like most users have set up, um, and this is the Windows My Documents folder, um, then uh, we would be backing up uh, a pretty big ISO image. So for example, my, um, my data has 91 gigs, and then just the Windows operating system, which I really care about for this example, uh, has uh, 33 or close to 34 gigs. So um, if my documents were located in my C drive, then I would be basically making an ISO image of 124 gigs, which is pretty big. So I have chosen to back up my Windows or C drive um, uh, with just the Windows operating system to make the ISO image much smaller. Um, my data gets backed up uh, very, very frequently to another external hard drive. Basically, whenever uh, a change or I add anything to this drive, uh, it immediately gets backed up just in case of failure. Uh, again, uh, it's up to you on how you want to handle backups, but so far, uh, this has worked pretty well for me. So, first thing we need to do is download our free software and install it. So, uh, just launch your web browser, and then we're going to go to uh, this website here. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're looking for Drive Backup 9.0 Free Edition for Windows. Uh, click the Download for Free link. And uh, here what we're going to do is we're just going to pick whatever version uh, you want. If you're running 64-bit or 32-bit uh, for Windows. Uh, keep in mind, um, I, I'm really not associated with this company at all. Uh, I just 
like this program. Um, they do offer um, uh, a program uh, that you can actually buy that's like the pro version. Um, you don't need to do it for what I'm about to show you. Um, if you like the software and want to do that, that's cool, but uh, for our purposes, um, we only need the free version. So uh, just uh, click the download now and just save the file and then we'll get ready to install the program. At this point, simply just uh, install this like any program you normally would. Um, and then at some point, sadly, the only uh, what I consider a slight pitfall of this program uh, is that you actually need to register this program and get a key code. Uh, it is free. Uh, I've had good luck with this and I have not gotten spammed. Uh, I will admit it's a slight pain in the butt that you need to register, uh, but it is free and such is life. Um, and it, like I said, it hasn't been that bad. So um, all you do when you get to this point, um, you just need to click this get free serial. Uh, you need to sign up with this company. Uh, they'll send you a product key and a serial number. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, once you do that, uh, just finish up the install. After the program's installed, plug in your external hard drive and we're going to run the program. So this is the main part of the program. Uh, we are going to click uh, back up disk or partition and uh, this pretty much puts you through a wizard for backups and then we are going to click the next button and here is basically a list of everything that I can back up and create an ISO image from. Um, for our purposes and if you want to do the Windows operating system uh, we just need to find our C drive um, as long as you installed Windows on your C drive which most users probably did uh, all we have to do is just check this box uh, and then this will tell you uh, the estimated archive size of the ISO image, 30.3 gigs, which is fine. And then you're going to click next. And then here is basically um, uh, our destination. So in my case, um, I, on my external hard drive, I called it OS Backups, just so I know where everything is located. Uh, find the folder that you've created everything in, and this is actually in my desktop. And then what we're going to do is uh, archive name, uh, is anything you want it to be. Uh, for this, I'm just going to call test. You could put today's date, uh, whatever you wanted. Uh, click next, and you're all set. And last but not least, we need to create our media recovery disk. So uh, this is, again, pretty straightforward. Uh, run the program. Uh, this is, again, the main area. Uh, we're going to say build recovery media. And again, it does a fancy little wizard. Uh, say next. Pretty much any computer can boot from a CD, DVD, ROM. So uh, I'm going to select that. I'm going to say next. Uh, typical, just to be uh, straightforward. Next. Uh, and then here, if you have multiple uh, CD drives, uh, just select the one that can actually burn CDs. Click next. Um, and then say next and you're pretty much done. So now that we're finally finished, uh, take your external hard drive, uh, take your CD that you created, and tuck these in a safe place. With any luck, you won't need them. Uh, feel free to make new ISO images periodically of your operating system. And with any luck, if I'm not feeling too lazy, soon I will create a video on how to actually recover our operating system from the ISO image that we created today. Uh, if this takes a little bit longer than I intended, I will give you some quick uh, quick crash course on this now. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your uh, CD, uh, you're going to place it in your CD-ROM, and before Windows, your operating system launches from the physical hard drive in your computer, uh, you are going to make sure that uh, this uh, recovery CD boots first. And uh, when you boot from your CD-ROM first, uh, a mini application will be ran. And with this application, um, you're able to follow the uh, instructions. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, but what it allows you to do is take that folder um, on your uh, external hard drive and uh, take that ISO image and dump it to um, our C drive. Uh, since Windows isn't booted up, uh, nothing is accessing our C drive. And this is what actually allows us to take uh, what's on uh, this and dump it in or onto um, the C drive. Uh, so uh, once you do that, um, you can take out the CD. Uh, it may take 20 minutes or less, depending on how big your ISO image is. 
but when that's done, uh, like I said, take out the CD uh, and just start Windows normally, and uh, you should be right back to when you took that snapshot. Uh, thanks for watching.